Hey guys, it's John Singleton here, head coach of the program. And what I'm going to be doing today in this quick video is showing you how to take care of your wrists. Now, for those of you who are new to CrossFit, you may actually find that the wrists start to get quite achy and sore. And the simple reason for this is we're putting your wrists into positions they aren't used to being in. Now, if we go through a list of exercises, we have handstand walking. You know, that's a huge one. Your wrists are also being put into a lot of extension. What else do we have? Front rack. Or we also start to go wide with our overhead when we're snatching or going into an overhead squat. And you'll notice that the wrist goes into these positions under load that we aren't used to. So there's a couple of aspects to that. The first is that we want to make sure that your wrists are prepared for these movements. And I'm gonna show you some exercises that we use in order to make that happen. The next is controlling the volume. You know, as a simple um, kind of analogy, for example, if I'm doing high rep shoulder to overhead, and let's say I've got 60 kilos on the bar, you know, after 20, 30 reps, my wrists might start to ache, and that might become the big limiting factor in that movement. And therefore, we have to start improving our capacity, our volume capacity, in order that when I get to those high rep numbers, I can handle it and my wrists aren't the limiting factor. But for now, I'm going to show you a series of exercises that can help strengthen the wrists and, and start to build that capacity. The first is extremely simple. We're just going to go onto the floor. I'm going to show you from the floor. Now, this is, uh, we've, we've uh, termed this uh, set of movements wrist flow. And the reason is it's because like a, a flow for the wrists, obviously. Now, we can do this in different ways. I'm going to do it kneeling, but you can actually do this from uh, a push-up position as well. It obviously makes it harder. But I'm actually going to spread my hands as much as I can on the floor. I'm going to rotate my elbow creases forward, and I'm just, uh, the first direction, I'm going to start putting weight through onto the wrist. So as you can see, I'm just starting to mobilize into a position that I may end up in in handstand walking or one of those directions. Next, I'm simply going to turn my hand out and I'm going to start rock, uh, rocking side to side. What you'll notice some people is they tend to handstand walk like so, with their hands slightly more rotated. And again, it's just prep, uh, preparing the wrist in all directions. So I'm going backwards, forwards. Next, I'm going to come into this reverse wrist position. Now, some people will really struggle with this. If, if you can only get to here, that's absolutely fine. If you can, get your palms to touch the floor even better. And then from here, I'm going to go back and forward. Again, I'm just feeling the stretch through my forearm, which way I want to feel it. Okay, so we have these three basic positions. Forward, side, and back. What I'm also going to do now to help with that capacity of the wrist, I'm actually going to put pressure through on my, on my fists, on the back of my palm, and then again on the front. So now I just start to rotate through different positions. So as you can see, I'm going back, back, front, front, fist, fist, back, back, front, front, fist, fist. And I'm going to start building up different time. And as I say, for those who feel more comfortable, we can put more weight on. I might just go one foot to start with as I go through the order. And eventually I might build up into the full push-up position where I really start to work the capacity of the wrist and build up that, um, that volume there. So that's the first exercise. And usually we do this for time. It's hard to count the repetitions. So maybe I'd be going back and forth at 10 to 20 seconds in each of the positions, and then maybe I'd spend between 30 to 60 seconds going through the wrist flow. Something that's very easy to do, can be done every day, and really helps to um, develop the flexibility in all the directions of the wrist. The next thing we're gonna do is work with a pipe. Now, the one thing that we do know is that eccentric movements really help strengthen the tendons of, of the muscles. And so what we're going to be using is this PVC pipe in order to create this eccentric force. Now, obviously, the further I go towards the end, the harder the movement becomes. The closer I go into the middle, the easier the movement becomes, quite simply because of the, the leverage. I'm actually going to try and keep my arm out straight for this. 
and you'll see now as soon as the weight starts to go I'm going to try and control that movement around as far as it will go and then I just take it back. I can also let that fall and control the other way as we come down. I can make it harder or make it easier and what I'm starting to do is start to work the muscles of the forearm which obviously lead into the hand and you'll also notice we start to get a bit more rotation through the wrist as well. Okay, so those are, those are two of the sets of the, the exercises. Now, we also have a lot of grip work we can do in order to strengthen the wrist. However, we are going to leave that for, for another video because the grip strength is kind of a, it has lots of applications through deadlifting, through the strongman stuff. But I'm going to look at one exercise now that is extremely important to try and help alleviate any wrist pain that you may have. So we're going to go over to a rack and you're going to need a band. Okay guys, so this is the third exercise and this exercise is mainly for relief of wrist pain. So as I mentioned, we have a lot of compression, a lot of extension going through the wrist in CrossFit and sometimes that can lead to a bit of pain and discomfort. And what we're going to use now is a band to help with a bit of traction through the wrist and get the joints of the wrist moving in a slightly different way. So, I use my rack. Now, there's two versions of this. One is slightly easier. I can literally just take the band onto the rack and I can use it to help strength, uh, stretch in different directions. I can just get traction like so, where I'm coming obviously into flexion. And I can also help it with extension. Now, that's obviously a very easy version. A slightly harder version now is when we come onto the floor. And so for those who are having troubles with push-ups, with burpees and really feeling the wrist, this is a great exercise in order to help improve that. So we're gonna come onto the floor. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the band around my wrist. I'm gonna get some tension on the band. And now I'm gonna come up into my push-up position. And what you should feel obviously is that the band's creating a force and that should give my wrist a little bit more space. So I'm here. Now I can either go, if I'm starting to get relief in this position, I can now start to add in the movement that's sore. So I can start to come into a push up and back up in order to test that. Or I simply can use this very simple motion here as we go through. There's also another option in order to really try and increase that. Where now I can come in slightly from the other way. Again, I'm getting traction on the wrist. Like so. And once again, I can either come into my push-up position, or this time I simply can sit back. And what you'll notice is that the band in this instance is slightly increasing that stretch through the forearm. Yeah? We have three types of exercises there. One that's developed to increase the capacity of the wrist, we call that kind of our wrist flow. The other that really helps to strengthen the tendons that are involved with the wrist movement. And this third one with the band that helps to look at alleviating some possible causes of wrist pain. So I hope you found the video useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll be happy to get back to you.